As part of the Ivy Trust's overall plan for social reform, the Ivy Play Centre was built on Bull Alley Street in 1913. Over the years, the locals have renamed the centre the Baino. It has provided education and life skills to Dubliners for nearly 100 years now and is still in use to this day. I went to the Baino in Bull Alley Street, that's now the Liberty College, and we went to the Baino most days and it was great. You learned, you did art, dancing, singing, they had a library. And the library sticks out in my mind. Going to the library, I thought that was heaven. But you always had a child, which my mother had 18 in the family, so we were the oldest. I would have went to the Baino maybe when I was seven or eight, and then your older sisters could bring, if you had a, a little brother, maybe two, you could bring them or sister to the Baino, but if you had them, they had like a nursery part, and you went up, and there was all colouring books and crayons that you mightn't ever have at home and books, so they even catered for um, older, well, kids, 10, having to bring their younger sisters and brothers. It was really further education for most of them because in the, in the classrooms, in the schools around here, you'd have a minimum of 50 in a class and some of them wouldn't be able to read or write very well so, and there would be one teacher. The teacher couldn't give too much attention to one child. But you were, when you went to the Baino, you could learn these different things and uh, you're going after school. It was, we now have homework clubs, but that really was a homework club before its time. And the teachers from the schools in the locality, they were part of the teaching in the afternoon. I think it was around four o'clock you used to go in. After school, you go down there and there was all sorts of stuff, like learning your needlework and... Um, all little thing, little crafts like that, and then there was uh, singing and dancing, and then you had to sing sing a song to uh, Lady, I think it was Lady Guinness or Lady Wicklow, I don't know, but uh, I remember singing them songs. Other people know them better than me now. And we sang a song when we went in first to Lady Guinness. We are children, good children. We come here to play. But that was a great thing for kids in the area that really hadn't got much. And you got a bun, a lovely bun from Kennedy's Bakery and shell cocoa that we threw under the seat because it was horrible. But you had to take the cocoa to get the bun. So we took the cocoa and put it under the seat, flung it out. I mean, they had to know because the place must have been flooded after we left. It was fabulous now going into the bay. Now, all the classrooms were great that's probably all that's still there now and then you'd go into a big one and you'd learn all the no, rhymes the Dublin rhymes you know and we'd be all swinging around you know it was Saturday morning then it was like um, a sports day now it was only open from we say about 10 to 1 and wherever you needed they gave you you know balls or skipping ropes and things like that they gave out to you and then they collected them all the hula hoop, what we called it then, as well, you know. I was attracted to it by the football. There was a big playground at the back and you'd go in. So you went into that, boys and girls. The boys usually played the football. A lot of girls play football now, but you couldn't play football then as well. It was considered unladylike. So it was great going in and you got a, a bun and shell cocoa. You eat the bun. You, you, you had to do away with the cocoa somewhere. Usually it was spilled on the ground or into... Anywhere you saw a container, it was put into it. And then at Christmas time, although I never went to the party, I don't know why, but they used to give a big party for all the children and, yeah. you know, minerals, cakes. And, mm. and, like, that was a luxury to get them. And every Christmas they gave a huge big party. They didn't give them to anyone that was misbehaving down through the years, you know. And it was great to get a ticket for that party because you also got a present. And this was all from Guinness's. Thank you.